Welcome back, everyone. It is now June. We are in episode 20 of Corpy. Um, I have decided to go ahead with that mower purchase. So I'm just going to head back and um, we're going to uh, we're going to see about purchasing that. Now, I've come to realize that I don't really have a tractor that powerful. So I'm going to see if I can find something else, um, trade this in for something a bit more powerful. I hopefully, you know, won't take on too much, um, you know, additional. It won't require a lot more additional funds, I guess. I think it will, though. Uh, this, this tractor here is really cheap. But I feel like I need a 250-ish horsepower um, tractor and this is only 143 I think we'll see we got stuff to sell as usual let's start first by selling this there we go I'm just gonna move out of the way here I forget what this is worth. It's 30,000-ish. Almost 30,000. Okay, we are 151. And we had set our sights on... Jumping down... Almost near the end here. Uh, I assume the Viking is also the same deal. Eh, let's do with this. So, and then we wanted that feature. And we wanted the hitch uh, low pin, I think is what we wanted. High pin or low pin? I think we want... Well, we, may, we might have to adjust that. I'm not sure, to be honest. Low pin. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L low pin. Okay. Bye. We can always change it if we got the wrong one. Oh, I didn't look at this. What's extra? This requires 240 horsepower. Uh-oh. I thought it was only 180. Oh, boy. Okay, we're definitely going to have to upgrade our tractor now. I don't know what that is. We'll need that. That's another 82. Expensive stuff, or not expensive stuff, but taxing stuff. I have fifty nine thousand left. Uh, will we? Would we get lucky and find something? Oh boy! Oh boy! Get this on first. And we'll put this on. There we go. And we should be. Yeah, that looks really big, doesn't it? Okay. Let's check the sale. Uh, see if we get something in the used market. And nope. Nope, nope, and nope. Okay, so, um, let's shop. Oops. Okay, so we're going to need a medium tractor, and now I'm thinking we need about 300. That might actually be going into the big tractor category. Now it's getting expensive. Ugh. What's this? Oh, this would work nicely, wouldn't it? That would be 147,000, and that is 300 horsepower. This would be a th beauty. A beauty. So I need another 100,000 or so. Guys, we're going to make this happen. Just 
Give me a few minutes here. There we go. I'm not going to sell it quite yet, but I'm just going to park it here because I think we're going to sell it. But Okay, let's go back to town. Uh, let's go back to town. Let's go back to our homestead and see what we have uh, that we were going to sell. Okay, we've got some beams. Oh, didn't make that corner. Ooh, that furniture is awkward. I did make some money overnight. See, it loads no problem as long as you're outside of the... I think it gets confused by the roof or something. Start with... Will any of this auto-load? I don't think so. Oh, that will. I know this stuff will. Should be a few more things that pop up here. Maybe not. Okay, that's it for now. Let's go sell this. We need another hundred thousand. That was sixty two. I'm going to sell this wool. It's not quite the best time for wool, but we should be able to, uh, see it's roofs. Roofs are doing it. As I exit, watch. Uh, turn off a load, drop, okay. Starting to get the hang of it. Starting to understand it a little bit better. I'm gonna sell this right away as well. Still about 30 some odd thousand short. Almost 40. That's 17. And then I've got the furniture um, that I'm gonna have to manually load. So we'll get our little forklift out. A little skid steer, I should say. Love this truck, by the way. Absolutely love it. Uh, we need to turn off auto load. And we need to release our straps. Turn off the engine. We'll come pick these up. We'll get our little buddy over here. Now that I say that, I'm thinking... I don't have pellet forks, do I? Oh, yes, I do. I do. I do. Whoa. Okay. That was wonky. Wonky is a technical term. I think I only have these two pieces here. It's like a double pallet kind of thing, isn't it? No, I don't want to go under. There we go. I 
feel like this would go better if I picked it up from the end. These bookcases, well, more like armoires, I guess. Ooh, I don't like the way that's sitting. these sell for. We're about to find out, I guess. Those are tables. Let's go in a bit further. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of bizarre. Okay. All right, let's go find out what these are worth. We need another 20,000. Something tells me this will be enough. That still won't solve our problem with the, uh, we still need a forage, a forage, uh, wagon. But, you know, one step at a time, we'll get there. Oh, only 14,000. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, plus the sale of the tractor. I'm good. I'm good. Let's just park here. All right. What are we going to get for that guy? 22,000. There we go. Now we have enough for the tractor. That is a large tractor. And where was it? Where was it? Here it is. Five. Uh, look at all the stuff. What's this capacity? Uh, I don't know what that is. It was only 147. I thought it was 157. Okay. Uh, we'll up the capacity. I don't really know what that means, to be honest. Uh... Choice of covers, engine cover. Okay, I see. Beacon lights, don't really need them out here. Triangle, yes. You always have to have the safety triangle. Okay, all good. Here we go, guys. Uh, their color, main color. That's, true. That's the glass. Oh, weird. Okay. There we go. I'm an idiot. I am a total idiot. Oh, seriously, guys, why didn't you guys stop me? You see what I did wrong? Look again, see what I did wrong. Uh, I like this tractor so much. And we just lost money on it too, probably. Oh dear. And I didn't put it in the right spot.
Oh, a whopping 17,000. Wow. That was an expensive fail. I'm going to go in and talk to them and see if they'll give me back my 17. That's crazy. Okay, they didn't give me back 17. They gave me back 16. They insisted that there would be a charge for, you know, processing the whole thing. So, uh, that's okay. But now I'm worried I don't have enough money for a tractor for this. Because that was a really good price. Shall we go shopping? We might have to get something that's a little bit... Uh, I want to say sketchy. Um, all right, guys. Uh, I did some homework. Came in here, found something similar price. Um, just as powerful. Uh, not as pretty, but... I don't know. That's kind of pretty in a way. Um, basically, we got 306 horsepower, and it's going to cost us 154,000. And I do have the front three point and rear three point and PTO and all that fun stuff. So, problem solved. Uh, do we want a different color? Would that be fun? What about brown? Terrible color. Um,. No, that's too much. Too much for the eyes. You know what? We should just stick with uh, the case. Case color. Okay. There we go. Protune 7250. All right. I was a little worried I was not going to be able to find anything uh, that fit that bill. Technically, 300 horsepower is not, still not enough uh, for this. But uh, it'll be a pretty big... Um, you know, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Might struggle a little bit, but the land that we're using for grass is flat. And we're not coming back to town with it, so it might be okay. I think someone had recommended to me on one of the comments on the Bloomfield series that I should uh, look at this particular tractor. I think this is the one they were referring to. Here we are. We did it here. We didn't do it in Bluefield. Okay. Now, there's not much we can do with this now until we get a forage wagon. That's okay. That'll be for next episode. We need more money. So, we're going to focus our efforts in this, this episode. I'm just going to leave that right there. Uh, we're going to focus our efforts on uh, our next steps. So, um... Our next steps are going to be, we're going to start cutting in some arable fields. This will obviously take a little while. But we're going to use this guy to do that. Could use our new tractor, I guess, but this has enough horsepower. I guess with the new tractor, we could get a much wider uh, plow. Okay, so we're gonna where are our new fields are gonna be. Um, I think we're gonna start down in the lower area. Of course, I'm gonna do a lot of this off camera, but it's time to time to start evolving, I guess. Um, we're gonna need a road through here, so maybe we can do that right now. Why don't we do that? We're just gonna paint the road in. And painting, and as usual, forest ground. I don't know why. I just kind of stick to one one pattern. Uh, we're going to go this way so that I can make sure I'm going pretty straight. Uh, that should be good, except we're going to do that as a circle. I think what I want to do is run right through here, right along these trees. I don't think we're going to take those trees down. 
And where are we? And we'll make that a little smaller. I think we'll have a kind of a thing going this way here. I guess I could have done something like that through here. I know, it's kind of weak, but that's all right. That's all right. And we'll put a little, little grass. Just a, just a little, a little grass here. I'm channeling my Bob Ross. It's a pretty little grass. Right down the middle here. There we go. What am I doing with my Bob Ross at work? Okay, close enough. Close enough. Ugh, that's terrible. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. I might tidy it up later. Okay, so fields. Uh, we have this open area on this side here, and we have this whole other area over here. So let's start with putting in some fields here. And, oh, we have to create fields. There we go. We're just gonna, gonna create a variety of different types of fields. Don't know what we're putting them in, in them yet, but we'll figure that out later. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, throw me some ideas. Throw me some ideas because by the time you guys see this, I may not have recorded the next episode. I'm extremely busy these days with stuff around the, around the homestead here. And so I am not so far ahead in my, my programming. Oh. Not too close to the water, you know what's going to happen if I do that, right? I am getting too close to the water. It's not too bad on the straights, it's when it's, uh, the curves that gets a little dangerous. So what I'm going to do is, with you guys watching, is I'm going to do the outlines uh, of the fields that I want. And yes, I'm going to do a whole bunch of them at the same time. You know, it's not really a normal way to progress, but I'm just, for this series, I'm just going to do that. When you're putting in fields and you have no idea what you're going to put in them, that's, you know, that's not really realistic that often. You know, usually... It's a need thing. I need a field that does this, so therefore I'm gonna put one in. Okay. So that's gonna be one field um, that we're gonna put in here, and then we'll do another one over here, which is gonna be much bigger, I think. Let's start over here. We're gonna fix up that road a bit too. It's not good. I might put a little fencing in, just to make it, uh, give it a little bit more character, I guess. Maybe plant some trees. I don't know if I can plant trees on this on this map. About planting, I mean painting, uh, painting trees. But if, you know, we might be able to plant them. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, this will be a nice big field. Oh, there's quite a dip there, isn't there? I'm gonna do a little detour around this dip. I don't know where that goes. That might go down to another field, actually. Interesting. So, I did not bring course play into this series, uh, mainly because the controls uh, for course play really mess around with the um, uh, the kind of conflict quite a bit with uh, um, forestry equipment and the way that the uh, the equipment maps out keybinds 
and uh, I could go in and reprogram a bunch of stuff, but I just don't have that kind of energy. So, uh, I told that whenever I'm doing any kind of significant forestry, I usually um, just uh, I don't use course play on it. So it would be nice with these fields. Who knows? We'll see. Well, since I want this to be production based. That's a bit sharp. Let's smooth that out a bit. Um, since I want this to be production based, um, I have to think about what I'm going to be planting. Uh, I will not sell uh, directly um, the product of our fields. So our harvests need to go into productions. We are going to go production happy, and at some point, as I mentioned before, we're going to... Um, probably turn on selling at all our productions when it gets to be too much to handle and we'll just have to take the hit on the on the uh up fees i guess okay well that's another field that's going to be a big field one there one there hope you guys understand what i'm doing here and then i'm going to do one more over here Uh, we don't have the whole area. Um, there's a part at the bottom that I need to be careful of. And of course, we're going to have to buy equipment for this. And so on. Uh, let's see where our line is. Um, as you can see, here's our fields. Our road is going to come through here. And uh, our farmland goes to about the bottom of this here. So I'll, I'll try to keep an eye on that. So we still got a ways to go. So we're going to come down a bit and kind of cross and then come around. I'm not going to buy this piece for a while. So. I think that should be pretty close here. Yeah, that's safe. I could probably go a little bit more, but I just want to be safe. All right. So I, w I am going to get all of this uh, all plowed out. Uh, I may actually, um, I'm considering uh, changing this subsoiler um, for something bigger that'll work on our new tractor. So I may do that. Let me just turn off, allow create fields, just because you know what happens sometimes. So we've got our road through here. We got three fields that we're going to plant something in. And we still have, if you look here, yeah, I could have gone down to almost here. And I might still do that. We might push the limit a little bit. Um, but we've got our three fields here. We've got one that we created up here. Uh, we have some more room over here that we could do something, uh, as well as this open area here. And then we have kind of a strip that comes all the way down here. I don't think we're going to do anything yet. We might put a road in there to get up here. So, yeah, and then we'll start uh, considering our home. Um, you, see, you remember this little piece here? Sorry, I'm, I'm squirreling a little bit. Uh, this little piece here, uh, there was a divot, and I think there's a ramp that can go down with clearing some trees to another field area here. That's just above town. So that might be an interesting next purchase. Ooh, I could buy town. Nice. Um, or we could, you know, have a nice big field here or right here. Lots of options, lots of options. We're gonna do a lot of stuff on this map. So, yeah, and money's coming in. It would be nice to plant a nice tree right there at that, that junction. Oh, I made my road really wide, didn't I? Yeah. 
A little too wide. Okay, we might fix that up. Alright guys, um, that'll be it for this episode. I'm not going to make you uh, watch me just, you know, go through all this uh, putting in the fields, but they will be ready for next episode, so. Um, hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please consider subscribing, and as usual, I wish you a great day.